Hello, and welcome to the Litany of Catholic Martyrs for January 1st. As always, please remember to pray for all those who had loved ones who were martyred on Easter Sunday in Sri Lanka. We offer this devotion so that we don't forget who the martyrs are, and as that, they are examples of how we are to, to react and act if we are presented in a situation to defend the faith. Let us hope that the grace of God that we are given the grace of God to act courageously in the face of adversity and possibly even our own deaths through our baptismal vows and our confirmation promises. We are to do exactly what all these men, women, and children have done in the face of death to sacrifice ourselves to save the church. There are red martyrs and there are white martyrs. White martyrs are those of who suffer for the church are marginalized and maligned. So, these are the men, women, and children that we honor today, this very first day of the secular world calendar. The circumcision of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the octave of his nativity. At Rome, Saint Armachius, martyr, who by the command of Alipius, governor of that city, was killed by the gladiators for saying, Today is the octave of our Lord's birth. Put an end to the worship of idols and abstain from unclean sacrifices. In the same city of Rome, on the Appian Way, the crowning with martyrdom of thirty holy soldiers under the Emperor Diocletian. Also at Rome, under the Emperor Alexander, Saint Martina, virgin, who endured various kinds of torments and being beheaded, received the palm of martyrdom. Her feast is kept on the 30th of this month. At Spoleto, in the time of the Emperor Antoninus, St. Concordius, priest and martyr, who was beaten with clubs and then put to the torture, after a long confinement in prison where he was visited by an angel, he lost his life by the sword. On the same day, St. Magnus, martyr, at Caesarea in Cappadocia, the demise of St. Basil, bishop, whose festival is kept on the 14th of June, the date of his consecration as a bishop. In Africa, St. Fulgentius, bishop of Ruspo, who suffered much from the Arians during the persecution of the Vandals for holding the Catholic faith and teaching its excellent doctrine. After being banished to Sardinia, he was permitted to return to his diocese where he, ended, where he ended his life by a holy death, leaving a reputation of sanctity and eloquence. At Chiete in Abruzzo, the birthday of St. Justin, bishop of that city, illustrious for holiness of life and miracles. In the Diocese of Lyons, in the monastery of St. Claude, St. Eugendus, the abbot whose life was eminent for virtues and miracles. In Sauvigny, St. Odilo, abbot of Cluny, who was the first to prescribe that the commemoration of all the faithful departed should be made in his monasteries the day after the feast of all saints. This practice was afterwards received and approved by the Universal Church. In Tuscany, on Monsonario, Blessed Bonfilius, confessor, one of the seven founders of the Order of Servites of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who herself suddenly called her devout servant to heaven. At Alexandria, the departure from this world of St. Euphrosina, virgin, who was renowned in her monastery for the virtue of abstinence and the gift of miracles, and finally, in many other places, many other holy martyrs, confessors, and virgins. These are the men, women, and children that we honor today. <clears throat> when you see the phrase, uh, let's see if I can find it. Confessor Seven Servites. When you see the phrase birthday on their birthday, it is the day that the servant enters heaven, except for Mary and uh, John the Baptist. So these are the men, women, and children that we honor. Thank you all for listening. Please remember to pray for all those. Um, or remember to ask for prayers from these martyrs. God bless each and every one of you, and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.